Hello everyone, it's Akatrios here and I welcome you to another card discussion. Well, the next upcoming set Shining Victories will get some more Despot cards and I wouldn't be Akatrios if I wasn't to be the one of the first ones to actually talk about those cards in detail as a great Despot player myself. So I thought a bit about um, around Despot 9 and Despot Base, which are the two new cards coming along. And let's let's just jump right into it, cause let's I don't wanna waste too much time. So let's start off with Despot 9. I display the effect on, and it's that's on the field uh, on the screen here, so you can read it out because the picture is in Japanese. Um, it's basically um, yeah, it's basically a Ghost Freak Ghoul, fusioned with an Armadis, and a generic Six Samurai monster, because it's exactly what the three effects are. The first effect is um, combining all, uh, all Despot ADKs into himself, being the only one who is able to attack in that turn. The second effect is that your opponent can't activate any effects if, that, uh, if 9 is attacking or being attacked. The third effect is, if this card is destroyed, will be destroyed by the card effects? Nah, I can, I can throw out one of my minions. So it's an alright main deck boss monster. It's gonna be most of the times around 8,000 and 16,000 attack points if you don't play, um, if you do it right with all the meter removal and all, all that. And yeah, it, it's basically a very good card because it's very safe main deck boss monster so yeah I, I calculated a bit around with some things and got to the conclusion that the maximum 80, 80k of Despot 9 is at 142,080k by having 3 Despot 8, 1 Despot 7, 1 Despot 9 on the field alongside 1 Despot base and 2 uh, generic pendulum monsters which are not despots, every other despot card in the graveyard and um, first just three united we stand and one match mage power with a set limiter removal and then activate limiter removal and after that activate another mage power. This is how we get to 142,000 attack points on despot 9. Yeah, it's another very good point on it, it, it is actually designed to be only played once in a deck so it doesn't eat up much space because it is designed as a one-time only boss monster because running it multiple times would be bad because this one can attack and if it's if it is not over and uh, after the first one attack then it's most likely not your duel because you don't because you chose to get to go for a nine so if you choose to go for nine you should be very um, very sure that 9 will be the end of a duel. The cons is that it adds no consistency, it's pure damage, it's pure dual ending machine, which is a pun in itself because it's a machine deck, right? It is sadly another main deck card, which is basically alright because it's a, it is a one time only card. For most decks but yeah it's rather meh it's rather meh because our main deck is already overfilled with despot cards and stun cards so it's rather hard to get one space out i personally could afford one space but i also have to make space for despot base also it requires the opponent to have an empty monster zone or at least all monsters in 80k Unless you have like 142,000 ADK, <laughs> then it's alright if you're in 80k mode. But in most ter terms, you want no monsters on the enemy's field if you get to, to summon Despot 9 with all the attack. So Despot 9 can just rush down the enemy and win. That is quite a bad point because most of the time, our opponent has monsters, so that's why I play the control bit, right? Alright, that was Despot 9. Let's go on to Despot Base. It's a field spell card, which is quite nice, so it doesn't eat up any field space in that sense. It just 
is in the field spell zone and the other spells and traps are not affected by it, so that's quite alright. <coughs> His first effect is just a generic boost of 500 for all death bots, so this is quite straightforward. The second effect is a magic mallet for death bots. <laughs> and the last effect is like ban you banish 9 death bot cards with different names except base and shuffle everything your opponent has into a deck. <coughs> yes, this is a very good card in combination with Despot 9, <coughs> but let's be serious, it is also good without 9. So, <coughs> sorry. Um, so this rubber, oh god, I've got a mistake there. Um, so, well, the effect is very good, but it's good without 9 and with 9. That's what I wanted to say until I got distracted by the mistake of mine. And it is fixed. So, wow, the show. <laughs> I got a bit off. Um, the good thing is, it is not a monster, but it's still searchable by Despot 2. The second effect boost causes to see in Despots very much. Because you most of the time don't want to have your Despot 2 on the hand, your Despot 1 can be possibly on the hand, but 2 and 5 and 6 and 7 and possibly even 9 are cards you don't want to have on your hand. And yes, I also say 8, but I don't play 8 myself, so yeah. So you can just throw back your monsters you don't want to have, keep your 3, keep your 4, and get new cards which can possibly block your opponent. And let's face it, the last effect is an instant win, if you can abuse it. If you can use that, uh, that advantage you have there, it's an instant win. If you cannot abuse it, then you're most likely... Well, if you can abuse that advantage, which advantage are you gonna abuse? The cons is, it uses main deck space, which is, as I said, quite hard to manage. The 580k and death boost is very very bad for us because we want to play around with machine duplication but the problem is if we activate that card all monsters have 500 and 500 but most of the time we activate that card to gain new cards on the hand to get to that machine duplication so this is kind of bad for us because if we are going for the desktop base thing we can't forget our machine duplication. Every machine duplication we draw with Despot Base is dead. Until Despot Base is gone. So the ATK gain is not a good thing. It is not. It is good if you have already everything prepared, but then you only have the, the boost. You don't really need the, up, the other two effects then. Or more rather the second effect then. So it's only one effect is really affecting you. Like, either the first or the second effect is there for you. The other effect blocks, your, uh, blocks you out, or is just non-existent. If the first effect uh, is what you want, the second effect is non-existent because you most likely have enough to get it. If the second effect is w what you want, then the first effect will block you in that sense that machine duplication doesn't work anymore. The last effect, it is an instant win. It is. Because your opponent has nothing, nothing anymore, anywhere. But the problem is, when it's very hard to achieve in a normal duel, you can of course make a des and make a despot base turbo deck and, and throw out everything in the graveyard and make an instant win of it in every duel. But in normal despot decks, let's face it, in normal despot decks you will just pull it off in one out of ten thousand duels. And I'm quite optimistic in that sense, because I don't think I will ever have 9 despot cards with different names except base in my graveyard. So that is kind of meh. But it's very cool, but it is, it is a, not a monster, and it's still touchable by 2 because it's a despot card. So that helps out a lot. It is kind of bad that... The, first two effects collide with each other in one sense, but it's alright I guess. With that card, Infernal Reckless Summon might become an option because you can't use Machine Duplication that awesomely anymore. 
but I don't want to ramble too much about both cards. I most likely will play Despot 9 once, and Despot plays uh, almost one. Um, yeah, I'd say once or twice, but not thrice, because thrice will be way too much. So that's my opinion on those two cards. I hope it's alright for you. I hope you're not flaming me right now, because, well, I am quite... I have quite a lot of criticism for those two cards because, well, <coughs> I play it controlly, right? So, well, leave your comments below, say anything you want to say to me, and I see you guys in the next video. This has been Akitrios, and stay raving.